Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Tutorial Revelation Online. I'm your host, David Powell. So the reason why I stayed in here, so hot key V on that is fishing. Fishing's kind of annoying to kind of level up, but at the same time, it's the one you can AFK level up. So if you go in the hot spring, in the same general area, you got your fishing shop so you get there's a, a quest to kind of teach you into fishing where you get all the basic stuff like all the level you get a free novice fishing set basically so you got to come here to buy ragworms no uh, not that i know of is there another way around getting them and you got to buy a lot of them so you do that you buy them you come over here you press your alt and you you right click and start your fishing so let's actually buy one to kind of show you. I can actually buy red worms. So you can, I can buy one of those. Come over here, right click, choose bait. It defaults to that. So you choose the bait that you want to use. So quick fishing is is manual and start is. I mean, quick fishing is automatic, so you can use that to go AFK, which is kind of like the nifty thing. It's This is the only crafting thing you can technically go AFK. I mean, when you're actually crafting stuff, you know, you can go AFK during that, but this is the one you can buy a ton of stuff and just leave it there. So, you know, we're going to go, you actually get a tutorial on how to do this, you know, so I'm just going to do it real quick because it's much faster than automatic. Automatic is super slow when it comes to this. So you gotta wait, you gotta wait. Even though it does that, you gotta wait. You cannot press F there. It'll tell you, it'll tell you when to press F. Then you do that and you get stuff. And you have, a, there's different fish you can possibly get from doing that, but you have a a chance of getting the, uh, getting this treasure chest, which has a chance of giving you a scroll that gives you like 50 experience towards fishing. So you do that to level it up. And that's actually kind of, Oops, wrong one kind of puts you into cooking because fish bladders you can get silver ear sil silver eel so you can do that and get that and then you got different stuff you can mean so the f this one you know if I went I have to go to a, a favor shop I have to buy the duck meat I find that dumb I should be able to kill ducks and get the duck meat that's how that should be done no there's there's different tabs you know you can you need to craft you you don't really want to toss away your uh, crafting stuff because what you craft in one area you can get from another so this one right here as you can see i'm an apprentice once you get level nine you max out the xp you'll get a quest in curiosity you complete the quest and you'll be able to get up to the next tier of levels. So, and this is upgraded purely from here. So this kind of, you know, felling, wood cutting, foraging, and mining. So, the cool thing about this is it tells you, if you look at the little uh, flavor text, the yellow text right there, so you'll see i actually should go over there so you got right here your poise curiosity fortune grace forbearance astuteness erudition you know if you come over into your life skills ones you get you can upgrade that from here you know all that good fun stuff but you can tell near the bottom right it actually tells you kind of where you can find this stuff a lot of these you can google like this sulfuride or revelation online and it'll tell you where it is. This is probably the one you're going... Wait, hold up. Which one gives copper ore? Okay, the sulfuride ore is probably the first one you're going to do. Because if you come over here, you need copper ore. And then obviously red oak kindling, which I told you in the last episode how to get. So I'm going to kind of show you where the basic stuff is. And some stuff. Copper ore sucks to find. Like, straight up. It does. I hate I hate trying to search for it personally. So we'll we'll head on we'll head on over to the area for it. So just fly on over to the neat little teleporter. And okay, we, we passed it. It's all good. So where you wanna go is down here. 
So you fly over here, you know, you do this, wait for it to load, and then let's see here. Um, okay, so you want to come out over here, and now it's a game of chance. You're you're just hoping right now. So you have to go under the water and just swim around this area. And as you can see, you got a breath meter. It goes down slowly. Somehow your guy can hold his breath. He's extremely amazing at holding breath. And I think, I, yep, I just found one. So you got to swim around this area and you'll eventually find soul fried ore. And I mean, eventually. Like I said, it's a real pain in the ass to try and get... Oh, shit. I, I think I messed up. Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay, good. So, sulfuride ore. Annoying. Extremely annoying to find. So, the other one. The other one, you'll probably need to know where it is. Where is it? Oh, wait. Wrong one. I don't need that one. Is once I get back to this... No, no. I need this. I need this one is the Aurelia stone. So there's certain dungeons that actually has the Aurelia stones, like a desert shrine. I've seen it in there, but in case, just in case, I want to say it's up here. Now this took me forever to find it. Um, Still says Tuzan Wood. It says like the bear play, the bear wall, and Tuzan Wood. So you you fly over there, and then generally I want to say one of them might be around. No, no, it's right up there. So there's a there's an Aurel Aurelia stone. That's the only one I've managed to find. So literally, straight shot. You come up a bit, and you can see on the top right. Well, I guess you actually cannot see it. Oops, because I have it blocked out. Oops, my bad. I probably should have switched that to the top left so it's not blocking out the map. Oh, that's... I actually forgot to consider that. So let me... Let me actually... There we go. So... Well, probably once again so that you can see it on the map you go over here you do you do all this good fun stuff you you climb up a bit up just a bit and watch I won't be able to find it again watch I'm I'm calling it now I'm I'm actually calling it now see so yeah, I've I've already lost it I found it so easily right away. Like, I found that right away. Where are you? you sh there we go. There we go, you shiny bastard. So you can see at the top right, it says 4, you know, 4448120539. So you kind of you kind of got that. So you'll need that to increase your fo your whole foraging level thing to level 10. So let's go back here. Um, why'd I do that? Why'd I do back? I need I need V. I need V. So next, that's for mining wood cutting. So you got low gray tem timber, which is pretty easy. You can get that pretty much anywhere actually. And then you kind of go through here. When you're mining, you get low-grade stone. So there's a lot of stuff you can craft from, you know, with with this. Actually, low-grade timber. Yeah. So we'll go over here. So for low-grade timber, where are you? When you open this up, you want to go right here. This is much closer. So you want to come to the portal away array for tide water. So you come to this and it's just up and down this area. And the way you know you're in the right spot is you'll see little NPCs called bamboo thieves. I don't know why. Where have I gone? No, it shouldn't be too far down. Am I not? It's usually these right here. You see that little 
little weird formation right there. You can you can forge those, but I guess somebody's been forging. I mean, tr felling. You know, doing their wood cutting thing. And yeah, somebody somebody's wood cutting, so you won't be able to see it. But it's generally those things. Sometimes they're bigger, but it is around. It is up and down this spot, like. You are looking for these little bamboo things, and you 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 would cut those, and you get your bamboo. Um, I forget which level it is, but one of them gets you termites. Uh, let's actually see. I forgot. I'll eventually press the white one. It'll actually. Um, it'll actually tell you if you go right here, go to felling. So black bamboo shoots, you get. You know, low grade wood, chance of tinder black bamboo. Same for that low grade wood, bamboo pieces. That's peach syrup. Oh, ant wood is what I did. The dead trees in dark fall. Okay, so yeah, I, I have to go there anyway for the first thing for uh, plant foraging. But next, peach is something that's pretty pretty important, and it's actually very easy easy to find the location those kind of look like you know s cherry blossoms so we'll eventually get it to bring this up so we go back down i probably should have done that first but hold on let's bring let's orient ourselves to the map okay so you go over here to these and you're just kind of in this pink spot over here you, you can find them so there's usually one that's kind of over here and all that I know there's one you can fell that's kind of up yeah there we go there's this one you can fell right here in specific for the cheat for the peach and then you just kind of go all over this place right here to kind of get your peach and stuff and dark fall is actually where we're going to go next Kind of actually. Um, actually, I won't need to teleport over there because I have to go right there anyway. So, kind of, you know, not going to use Imperial Notes to go where I need because it's close enough. So, we're going to just zoom, zoomy zooms. And the cool thing is, your ground mount's kind of useless. Like, I, you got your wings and you'll use those, and you kind of got a little little familiarity thing with them and stuff which is kind of cool so you come over here this is for pl the start of plant foraging to kind of which leads into alchemy um alchemy so you you farm you get mule grass and you have a chance of getting and this is this is the cool part Sparoma to craft the blue cochineals or cochineals. I don't know how that's pronounced. And you do that and you can get your exquisite. You can do the exquisite pastels, but you get enough of those that you don't really need. It's getting to the uh, common healing lozenges and the better common healing lozenges. You know, these are kind of the, the better, the better healing ones to do. And then I, what I probably should have stated at the beginning is you need to learn these to be able to actually identify stuff or get the ability to craft craft different things so if you're not doing this you can't identify things and you can't really really craft from them so this is kind of an annoying spot you're looking for little mushroom type glowing mushrooms so it's uh, you you just fly all around or run all around this spot and you eventually find them i kind of want to find one of them so you can see i mean you're you're oh, okay there i think that's it mm, nope that tricked me oh well but it's just, it's around here this little area right here where you where you get your in basically your intro to alchemy you want to come through um i guess i may not i may not find them uh, 
I don't want to spend too much time finding them. Actually, I can just edit out a lot of the finding. So, yeah, I've been searching around for a while. That person right there may be forging the stuff because I can't find anything. But, yeah, it's the only thing you can really forge around here. You just run around here and all that good fun stuff and you'll, you'll find them. Don't worry about it. You, you, you'll find them. You can start and that's how you get your intro to alchemy. And then definitely the one I want to show you involves, um, hold on, let me bring up, um, oh wait, I was right, I was right, no, go back to plant foraging. So jade succulents, um, I can actually show you because grave wart, that uh, wild ginseng is what you need for the quest to get to uh, level 10 of your foraging stuff. So we need to go to the Divine Over uh, Outlook. If you fly around the Divine Outlook, you will definitely find Jade Succulents. They're around here. Actually, searching for the Grave Wart, I found a ton of Jade Succulents. And I was like, this is BS. Why can't I find any Grave Wart? Because all it says is it's in shaded areas of Divine Outlook. Out Out and even look if you google it up you can find someone and all they do is they have a little oh i'm way too far and they just got a bunch of where it would be over there i actually good thing i pulled that map up because i'm way too far away so the where i found them consistently was like along this ridge back over here here that's where i found them so you you go through like see grave wart right there good look at it grave wart that's what you're looking for you know grave wart right there so if you come down to this ridge down here you can find them as well as jade succulents you might have once you get into crafting and stuff, you'll you'll need to find those. And you just come up here, and as long as you fly around this area, you'll you'll eventually find them here. But I'm not gonna spend too much time hunting down the jade succulents. They're in the divine overlook. I've actually found quite a few of them. Actually, that's not what I want. Not the map yet. Karma gave me that. I think the last one. The mining, plant foraging, and tree felling. Okay, so I guess that's all of that. The ice retains down here. That's another one I want to learn. That's actually really another easy one. You just come up to the snow pine. You'll you'll find them around there. It it says where it says kind of doesn't make too much sense where they're at but if you just fly around snow pine you'll you'll eventually find them so let me see what else covered fishing that is bs you got multiple tabs to craft what you need as you can see once you go there you got the rattans you got to do the ice rattans and snow pine reach you can find them you know these ones here 5000 obviously i kind of i would want these but require level 60 i ain't using them any day soon so i want to be able to craft these at 100 percent which i'm getting kind of close you'll see some of these they'll give like a ton of experience other ones like as long as they're green they give you a lot of experience if they're black they don't give you shit which is unfortunate, but whatever. So you got all these different stuff. You know, you can come down here. These ones, you know, add. You can. That's actually something I should consider. You know, raising up to give my to help you craft more. I didn't even realize that. You know, cod liver oil adds two points to basic aptitude. Okay, medicine. So you got that increases physical defense. Or you can, let's hide unlearn. You can go over to cooking under delicacy. The seafood chowder increases magic defense. Blood, oh yeah, it's the blood radishes are for jade, you get from jade succulents if you want to craft something that gives you a magic defense boost. 
And so that's basically it for kind of like my intro to uh, to crafting. So when you actually go to craft, I should actually do that because I can. I'm not actually going to craft it because it's only 88%. But I'd suggest going to manually because you can craft how many you can put how many you want to craft and click produce and you just sit there and it crafts all of them. It kind of makes sense. You think auto create would do that and manually be different, but whatever. No, we we'll 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 let him pass on that one. It's all good. No no need to worry about that. So I think next time I'll actually get into. I'll, um, it looks like I can run some dungeons and stuff to kind of show you those. You know, I can definitely easily do. Um, where is it dark fall so you come down here I w at one point I spent forever luckily their portal array dark fall exists so you can put if you look in here you can put dark fall for portal array dark fall like if you try because let's see shine raid portal if you don't know that desert shrine is called shrine raid I guess if you just put shrine you can find it but yeah so actually go through I sat there I was looking all over the map I was like where is dark fall where is it why can't I find it this is BS I know it exists actually you know what I can do real quick it just dawned on me this should have been in my intro once to tell you the truth so we're gonna go through just cuz sunken galleon is easier to get through so for a basic accessory set don't do like what I did and upgrade them to the second stage. I mean, if you kill the mon or the third stage as I did it, if you kill the monsters, like the mobs have a chance of dropping these accessories, which obviously they're kind of class based. But if you enter here, and I I'd suggest getting the first one because as you saw that equipment bonus was uh, HP and MP per kill, which can come in handy. Come to the Dungeon Master. You know, the title Enmity Crystals, they, they don't cost too much. And you go through and you can craft the first one. As you can see, you need the other one, more in Hematite. Oh, do these event these eventually turn gold? At level 67, you actually get gold ones. Huh, that's interesting. So, stage 4... I could potentially just keep upgrading these and they'll eventually turn gold. I just now realized that. So, I mean, the equipment fusion XP, I find that kind of dumb. But the problem with these ones is you don't get green bonuses. That's kind of that's kind of unfortunate, which is why you want to create those you want to craft those gold ones instead of those ones. But these ones are much easier to craft. It just depends on how you want to want to go about things. And obviously, you come in here, you can kill mobs for XP. The further down you go, the kind of the higher level they are. But it becomes kind of pointless after you've reached level 40. You kind of, unless you're really dead set on trying to craft, uh, uh, increase apparel, which... Let me see here. Um, if you go to the item, you type in arboreal. So it, maybe if these were like forty gold per, I would consider buying them to increase it, but not at eight hundred fifty. Not at nearly a thousand per. No, it's, it's not going to happen. It just isn't. It, it costs way too much. So that's all the time that I have for this episode. If you enjoyed watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next of times. Goodbye.